webinar on how to use the latest developments in technology to automate your logistics applications. Whether you're a third party provider of logistics solutions or you're looking to automate your own logistics operation, we hope you'll find something here that will be of interest. The webinar will work as follows. Firstly, we'll run a video that lasts around 15 minutes. This will explain details of the technology available and how it can be utilized. As you will note from the haircuts in this video, it was filmed shortly after we came out of lockdown. In the past few months since the video was made, we've improved and developed our product offering, and I'll explain this in more detail after the video. We will then open up a Q&A session where attendees can type questions into the chat box. Feel free to raise these questions during the video. Our team of experts will answer these questions during the Q&A session at the end. So without further ado, I will now get the video running. Uh, I hope you find it useful. Well, for companies looking for innovative solutions to increase warehousing efficiency, RER UK Automation has supported a number of 3PL and manufacturing companies in improving their workflow, daily pick rates, as well as streamlining their storage solutions. Firstly, we will give an overview of the FEMAT system and look at how it can substantially decrease the manpower and time spent in both part picking, kitting and replenishment, and therefore reduce costs. The main advantages of moving to an automated storage solution versus traditional VLMs or racking systems include increasing the picking rate by up to 400% whilst minimising picking errors, reducing the footprint by up to 75% compared with standard racking systems, tote boxes inside the FEMAT can vary in height and be subdivided, Simple configuration allows for flexible and limited planning of product locations. The FEMAT system can be fitted with an automated feed. High flexibility enables integration between multiple FEMAT conveyors, robotics and mobile robots. And picking areas are reduced with scanning verification option. There's also a very fast return on investment. One of the drawbacks with traditional VLMs or racking systems is the inefficiency and slow speed of the pick. Advanced automated storage solutions such as the FEMAT are designed to give automated high speed order picking. Unlike traditional VLMs, this solution is built around groundbreaking box moving technology, enabling needs based presentation of boxes, reducing picking cycles to an absolute minimum. Standard VLMs operate on a rotating shelf system that operates vertically, presenting just one shelf at a time. FEMAT operates both vertically and horizontally, so the order picking system is able to present up to five different standard 400 by 600 millimeter boxes, weighing up to 25 kilos, containing different product numbers each working cycle, regardless of their position in the tower. FEMAT is able to present up to 200 boxes per hour. The result is that the FEMAT is at least three times more efficient than any traditional VLM. Modern production sites, as well as their warehouses, require a high efficiency use of available space. Thanks to its compact storage, the FEMAT's footprint of 2.7 by 2.3 meters, which is a space saving of up to 75% compared to manual shelving. With a large 24 inch control panel located at eye level, in the middle of the picking area, it provides the optimal working environment for the operators. This solution is flexible and modular and can be up to 25 meters high with multi-level access giving large storage and rapid picking ability. As well as being used as a standalone unit, it can be integrated as a standard element and individual design solutions, including an integration of robotics such as MIR and UR in smart production environments. Intelligent software that is supplied as standard with this solution has a simple integration to all ERP systems and supports both simple and advanced logistics solutions. Software integration between the storage solution and the ERP will accommodate simultaneous picking from both locations within the machine and other separate storage areas, allowing you to achieve effective product flow management, increasing efficiency and picking speed. This is achieved using order structure analysis leading to lower error rates, as well as automated stock checking and inventory counting. Many applications will require a combination of storage options to cope with the fast moving product, slower moving items and bulk storage. Based on customer data and process analysis, we design a best fit solution and can generate comprehensive KPI reports with return on investment. Utilizing analytical software tools, we can work with you to analyze your picking frequency of SKUs to determine the best solution mix an automated storage solution to give high picking efficiency, 
a more traditional VLM, for lower frequency items needing high density storage, and on occasions, racking for bulky items. This combination ensures that we can cover all items and retain flexibility for changes and introduction of new products on demand. Pick to kit. Another potential benefit for the automated storage solution is to use the middle tote bin for kitting. Here the system brings the items from the other four bins, and more if required, for the operator to produce a kit for either store or as a kit to outfeed to the assembly line. Thanks Alec. Moving away from storage and picking, the physical movement of products around a warehousing facility is a time and labour consuming job. Whilst many third party logistic organisations run huge fleets of forklifts and operators, some have adopted automated guided vehicles or AGVs to move products around their facility in a more automated fashion. Whilst this allows for a reduction in manpower and makes the operation more efficient, the solution is based on fixed installation of tracks throughout the facility and as such in today's rapidly evolving business environment does not provide the flexibility required by many organisations to meet their customers' demands. In recent years the AGV has been developed to the next level to become Autonomous Mobile Robots or AMRs. AMRs such as the MIR solution that we offer can be used to carry out a wide variety of tasks without the need for any fixed installations. As such they can be rapidly redeployed with very little additional capital expenditure allowing for warehouses to evolve to suit customers' needs. AMRs use unique mapping software and constantly compare what features and objects it detects in its immediate proximity against their internal map to find their location and navigate their way around the facility. MIR use six sensors to monitor permanent features for navigation and to detect objects such as humans, other trucks or obstructions to avoid collision and find alternative routes if their path is blocked. We support customers to map their location and set up safety parameters to ensure that the MIR navigates its way safely around the facility. Using specially designed software, a fleet of MIR AMRs can work together to manage tasks and work as a team to maximise productivity and optimise workflow. Optimising your internal transportation is simple with a fleet of MIR robots and easy web-based configuration. Bottlenecks and downtime can be eliminated with 24-7 mobile robot operation throughout your facility. Robots with different top modules, hooks or other accessories can be managed so that once programmed, the system automatically prioritises and selects the robot best suited for a job based on their position and availability. The MIR AMR comes in different models for differing tasks. The MIR 100, 200 and 250 aimed at moving product in combination with the top module or the MIR 500 or 1000 aimed at moving pallets around a facility. Each MIR model can be mounted with customised top modules such as bins, racks, lifts, conveyors or even a collaborative robot, whatever your application demands. Top modules are easy to change so the robot can be redeployed for different tasks. Global 3PL companies are using the MIR to automate many pallet transportation tasks in their vast warehousing facilities. Currently, two to three people could be employed over multiple shifts to specifically move empty pallets. In times when it is increasingly difficult to find staff, the MIR takes over these tasks, allowing the company to redeploy their staff to other required picking actions. The pallet moving task is a simple one for the MIR and can often give full payback in under 12 months. The MIR 250 is a more flexible AMR that can work around the clock and is brilliantly simple to set up for improved productivity. Its smaller footprint and increased adaptability help optimise internal logistics without changing layout. When combining a MIR 100 or 200 with off-the-shelf top module products, the MIR becomes a quick solution to many internal transport tasks such as pick and place of carts, being used as a flexible conveyor system or pick and place individual tote boxes. With the off-the-shelf top module from MIR and ROIC cart, MIR 250 becomes a simple solution for quickly automating the movement of goods up to 350 kilos. We have worked with a number of companies deploying the MIR 250 for internal waste movements. The MIR 250 can pick and drop a cart in a free space so it's ideal to pick a cart full of rubbish and move it to a compactor. We also have customers installing the MIR 250 to remove heavy broken glass from their filling lines. When a skip is full, an operator calls for the MIR 250. It simply picks and removes the skip and replaces it with an empty one. The AMR has also been used in 3PL solutions to monitor stock. By fitting the MIR with a scanner sat on top of a pneumatic mast, an integrated software solution, the MIR can be programmed to perform routing circuits of a facility and scan stock barcodes to provide a constant monitor of stock levels. 
DHL have partnered with a number of specialist companies to develop the solution that is aimed specifically at 3PL organisations operating a managed warehouse. This they have called Meerkat. The automated air-powered telescopic mask raises to the level where the stock check is required and analyses each location using a set of cameras, lasers and scanners. On the ground, the fully autonomous robot manoeuvres around and we've added batteries and onboard computing to do all the calculations in real time. Meerkat uses automated robotics to greatly improve your inventory management practices. Inventory control is costly, time consuming and repetitive for employees. On top of this, it can be also very dangerous as scissor lift MHE is often used. Meerkat automates the inventory process using robots outfitted with state-of-the-art computer and camera technologies. Thus, even the highest high bay racks can be inventoried, even in the middle of the night without personnel. When everyone has gone home, our Meerkat inventory robot can start checking that as a result of today's operations, no pallet location inventory has been misplaced. Not only do you find and identify picking and put away areas in your reserve racking on the same day, you boost productivity as you know where your stock is at all times. By finding the mislocated pallets the next day, you can also correct the operational issues which lead to these errors, targeting areas that need addressing. With Meerkat doing the inventory checks for you, you don't need to have your staff working at heights. A Meerkat warehouse is a much safer warehouse. Finally, we're going to look at how cobots can be utilised in logistic applications. The first application is in conjunction with our previous technology, the AMR. Owned by the same parent company, Mir and Universal Robot can be combined to carry out pick and place type applications in a wide variety of facilities. At RAR UK, we work with specialist integrators such as Iconsys to deliver the combination of products, mapping the facility to allow the AMR to move effectively between tasks and programming the robots to complete the tasks once in place. The other area where cobots have been extensively used in a 3PL environment is palletizing. The flexible and easy programming nature of the Universal Robot with its palletizing wizard and the number of plug and play products available for the UR ensure that automated palletizing cells can be cost effectively set up in a relatively small footprint. A combination of the Universal Robot, Easy Palletizer, Ulix Vertical Lift and Robotic Vacuum Gripper, as shown here, can be installed and programmed in less than one day with little or no guarding depending on the application and risk assessment and can see payback in less than 12 months. While some applications may be easy for an end user to integrate and produce themselves, other applications may be more complex and require the use of specialist integrators to deliver. There are a number of companies, such as our integration partner Olympus Technologies, that can provide bespoke palletizer solutions for a wide variety of applications. We hope the applications we have discussed today and the videos and guides shown have proven useful. However, should you be unsure of how to adopt the technology in your manufacturing processes, please don't hesitate to contact us. If you are in any doubt whatsoever whether the technology would work in your applications, we would be happy to arrange for one of our team of application engineers to visit and review your facility and run a demonstration of our AMRs or cobots. Alternatively, we would love to welcome you to our dedicated facility in Shefford, Bedfordshire, where we can demonstrate a wide variety of our automation equipment included cobots, AMRs and feeding solutions. In addition, we can carry out feasibility studies and proof of concepts in our fully equipped R&D lab, 
to give you the confidence that the technology really is for you. If you are still in doubt, we also able to rent certain equipment and allow you to try before you buy and run tests with the equipment in your facility. Once you've taken the plunge to automate with RAR UK Automation, we offer training on all of our products, including accredited universal robot training in our training academy. We also provide ongoing application and technical support through our team of specialists and other service and warranty to keep your equipment working to gain the maximum return on your investment. Okay, so I hope you found that uh, of use. So as I mentioned before the video played, we have some developments to share. Firstly, EFIMAT have confirmed that they have customers who are now showing a 600% increase in pick speed, with 750 picks per operator per hour being achieved with a three tower setup. Secondly, we're in the process of increasing our fleet of autonomous robots to include mobile robots capable of moving, stacking and raising pallets with payloads in excess of 5,000 kg. We have details of all the attendees uh, that are here today, and we'll share details of these new products by email following this webinar, as well as sending out uh, a, a recording of this for everyone to see once the seminar is finished. So now what we'll do is move on to our Q&A session. We've had some questions come in already. If any questions, uh, if you have any questions that you'd like to raise, if you look into the, the chat box in the corner of your screen, uh, and you should be able to type in a question and click on the question mark button, and then it will come through. So I'm just going to now include uh, my colleagues, Alec, Ross and Andrew, so you can see them on screen and they will be able to answer some of the questions that are coming through. So there's Alec. Andrew and Okay, so the first question that has come through today uh, is from KJ and he's asked, how easily maintained is the palletizer? So um, Alec, if I can hand over to you, uh, if you can just answer the question about the palletizer, please. Uh, you're you're muted at the moment, Alec. Your mic should be unlocked now, hopefully. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully you can hear me now. Uh, the the palletizer itself, uh, the maintenance on it is very minimal, uh, the same as the universal robots. Um, just really a, a visual check, um, as well as the lift is a, a visual check. Um, you can look at the settings within the UR cap um, to have a look to see if there are any parameters uh, outside the reach of the robot or anything. But other than that, it's very, very minimal, just a visual check on the palletizing systems. Okay, great. Thanks very much, Alec. Okay, next question we have now um, is um, when a single MIR mobile robot or MIR fleet serves an EFIMAT, what communicating method would you recommend between them? Uh, I think either uh, Ross, would you be able to answer that question? Uh, so you could do a couple of different ways. If a single MIR robot is accessing the EFIMAT, it could just be through a sensor system. But then we work in conjunction with a third party software company that can set up a full communication suite between your MIR mobile robots and the FML. Okay, great, thanks very much. Hopefully that answers that question. Okay, um, so the next question we have here is, um, how is the safety categorized on the palletizer and does it need external safety in most applications? Uh, um, I can probably answer that question there. Um, in terms of external safety, it very much depends on the application. Um, if the product is uh, generally fairly low speed and fairly lightweight, then uh, it would be possible to work in an application where there's a, a limited amount of external safety, as a lot of the safety features are embedded within the robot itself. 
However, if you're looking at some slightly higher speed or um, perhaps different type of products that would need some sort of protection, then we would recommend some external um, safety, such as light guarding, uh, to, to be included. When we work with our uh, sister companies or partner companies within who look at the integration, they will look at the application itself and advise as to whether there's um, external safety required or not. Um, we will also look, look at it um, if we can help a customer to integrate their own palletizer and give some guidance and advice on how they could carry out the risk assessment on that. Okay, hopefully that answers that question. Okay, so moving on to the next one. Uh, we have a question here about the MIA. Um, so how fast can the uh, MIA robots travel? Uh, if I ask Ross to answer that one, please. So there's five robots in the range. Each has got a slightly different speed. Uh, the MIA 100 can travel up to 1.5 meters a second. The 200 can go 1.1 meters a second. The MIA 250 can travel at two meters a second. The MIA 500 at two meters a second. And the MIA 1000 at 1.1 meters a second. So the, the 200 and the 250 well, and the 500 well above a, a walking pace. Okay, great. Thanks very much, Ross. Okay, um, we have a question now on the uh, FEMAT system. So um, if I can ask Andrew to answer this one. So if we already have some VLMs from other manufacturers, can these link up with the FEMAT? Sorry, Andrew, I think your your microphone's muted at the moment. Okay, sorry, I thought you were turning up. Fine. Um, the answer is yes. Um, the software used in the FEMAT can be retrofitted in other systems so it can work seamlessly um we know of this um we've installed done this with other systems which are quite popular in uh, vlms other brands okay thanks very much okay and we have another question here from uh, js so um quick question here how does the, how does the palletizing system integrate with an existing control system or with a robot so uh, alec if i can ask, ask you to, to to step in on that one please yeah no problem it uh, integrates very uh, seamlessly, actually. Uh, you can use the URCAP software um, and in the, um, basically the inputs and outputs of the universal robot to communicate directly with uh, other control systems. So it's just using the digital inputs and outputs on the UR robot. Okay, that's great. Thanks, Alec. So, okay. Um, we don't appear to have any other questions at the moment. So um, if, if anyone does have any other questions, then please send them through now. What I will say uh, whilst we're waiting to see if any, anyone else has anything any else to ask. Um, as a company, we are more than happy to come and visit site, look at your applications, look at your requirements, run demonstrations, uh, and also look at carrying out feasibility studies at our premises here in Shefford. So if there's any doubt on things like uh, peak speed, whether there's the ability for the, a robot or a mirror to move a particular product, anything like that, please contact us and we'd be more than happy to run through feasibility studies uh, and, and trials with yourselves. So that looks like that's the, uh, the end of the webinar for today. Thank you all for attending. Um, and what we'll do is we will publish uh, a recording of this webinar uh, online and um, we will send an email out to all of those that have attended just with further details of the products that we've just, we've shared today. So once again, thanks for your time and goodbye.